So we're now into the next part of this section of creating construction drawings. As you can see, we're in the model tab here. And as you can see, we have a new view down here in the model. If I just pan a little and zoom in, you can see it's an elevation of one side of this house that we're designing and developing the set of construction drawings for. If I just double click on the wheel again and zoom extents, you can see that this side of the house that we're looking at looks up here. There's the steps, there's the entrance, and you can just see if I pan a little, there's the steps, there's the entrance. So you can see we'd be standing here where the crosshair is, looking forward towards the house there. So you can see how that works and how simple it is. So double click on the wheel and zoom extents again. And what we'll do now is we'll start thinking about how we set up our elevation. Now again, as normal, I've got elevations complete open. If you want to follow along with the video, use elevations.dwg from your working files. So let's have a look at our tabs down here. We've got a ground floor tab and a first floor tab. We now need an elevations tab. So like before, what you might do is make that tab current, then right click on it, move or copy. So I move to end, create a copy, click on OK. There's my copy there, I click on the tab, I then right click again and rename. And instead of having plan for the first floor number two there, we highlight that bit and just type in elevations. Now you can put this in capitals if you want to, I have. Press enter and we've got a new tab there. Now double click inside the viewport to make it active. And if I now pan over here, there's my elevation there. Now we're going to have more than one elevation in a drawing. I've given you one elevation there. I'm not going to teach you how to draw lots of different elevations because drawing is drawing. What I'm trying to show you here is how to set up these construction drawings. So I'm going to pan and get my elevation over to about there, like that. Now leave enough space in the scaled viewport for dimensions, okay? Make sure you've got a little bit of space around the view. Always a good habit to get into. Now this viewport scale here is 1 to 50 because it's remembered that from the previous layout tab that we copied this layout tab from. Double click outside to deactivate the viewport. Click on the edge of the viewport like so. Click on the grip there and drag upwards and you can resize your viewport. Now the lovely thing about this is now I can copy that viewport if I want to. So if I now leave that selected, come into the drawing, right click, and on the shortcut menu, what I want to do is select copy selection like so. Now this is a very long right hand shortcut menu and I cannot fit it on the screen. Obviously I've got restricted screen real estate. You would obviously have a much bigger screen so you'd be able to see the lower part of the menu. So if I click there on copy selection, it's asking me to select a base point for that particular viewport. What I'll do, it's very easy, I'll use that endpoint snap there, click over to this endpoint snap here and click like so, and then press enter to finish. Now you'll notice that my viewport goes slightly over my notes column there. Very, very easy to do. I can click, click on the grip, move it across, and just make sure that it fits away from that notes column and hit escape to deselect like so. I've now got two viewports set up that are exactly the same view. So they're both looking at this elevation here in model space. So if I go back to the elevations here, like so. So if I created another elevation here in the model, what I could do is go into one of the viewports here, double click inside it, maybe pan, and you can see, look, I'm starting to get a bit of the plan view in there, and so on. So I pan around until I've got the view that I want. And then once I'm happy with that, I can release the middle mouse button, stop panning, double click outside the viewport and deactivate it. It is that easy to set up these viewports and these tabs. But the important thing is, is as you build up what's in the model space, so we've got our views there, we've got our plan, our plan and our elevation, we need to make sure that we build up the appropriate tabs as we develop the construction drawings.